How did you find me? I saw you over there from the village. Hey guys, want to hear my most embarrassing moment? You might say, what does a most embarrassing moment have to do with uh, ER Shred? Well, when people get uh, right, when people get right and things start working right, uh, you'll find that all areas of your life improve. And you be, uh, in my experience, you become a much more real, honest, vulnerable, um, authentic person. And it's beautiful. And that's part of my process is that I've just decided that along with this comes the ability to show you my true self. So uh, I hope it does the same for you. Here's my most embarrassing moment, and I think it's hilarious because my daughter is 15 years old and she thinks that I embarrass her. Um, real quick, look at this view. Can you guys see? Wow. Maybe I better show you more later. Okay, so what was it? Uh, I don't embarrass my daughter much, but guess what my dad did to me? Here's my most embarrassing moment. Don't judge my father. He's a prankster. Australians are a little crazy. So... I move into a new school and uh, I'm in the ninth grade and I'm brand new and I made one friend and, and that, that friend said, well, you ought to have a party and invite everybody over and that's way you'll get to know everybody that way um, by have everyone over to your house and you'll get to know. So he invites all these people to my house. I'm, I barely know these kids and there's probably, I would say there's probably 20, oh, 25 kids at my house. And they're all, they don't know me from Adam. I'm just the new guy and trying to, trying to fit in. Well, my dad is my dad. He's a prankster. And you know what he does? Um, I'm downstairs and I hear this. I don't even know what I was doing down there, but I hear this, just this uproar of laughter upstairs. And I, I come walking up the stairs and there's these 25 kids all gathered around the kitchen table and they're all just laughing hysterically at my dad. And my dad is sitting there just, you know, he's got an audience. He's having the time of his life. And I'm sitting there going, oh, shoot. Like, what is he doing? Oh, no. I hope he's not embarrassing me. Um, oh, why can't he just go away? Well, no sooner I walk over there, they all take off running past me. And they're running down the, down the, the stairs. And... And uh, I, I look at my friend, my one friend, friend Greg, and I go, where are they all going? What are they doing? And they're all in a mad rush, and they're all laughing hysterically. Well, Greg says, well, your dad told them that you only have one testicle and that you keep the other testicle in a jar of formaldehyde underneath your bed. And I, I look at my dad and he's just cracking up. He thinks it's the funniest thing there ever was. <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, good grief, dad. Like I'm the new kid at the school. This is hard enough as it is. And now you've told them all that, that I only have one testicle. And then I the thought crossed my mind and I, I was really glad that I'd moved the jar and, and put it in the closet. Did I get you? That, that, that part was me being a jokester. <laughs> but I did have to deal and live with, there are probably still our kids that think I only have one. Little do they know that I have three. <laughs> I'd love to know your most embarrassing moment.